Hi guys, my name is Carly. I'm a new UGC content creator and I would love to talk to everyone about how my UGC journey has been. I'm a new creator as well, so you show that I know all the ins and outs and the ups and downs of being a UGC. I think one thing a lot of us has realized is that at the beginning of this year, at the new year comes 2023, the UGC has really popped off. It's everywhere over TikTok, it's everywhere over Twitter, on social media, and the term, I think it has been existed for a very long time, but only until now that it's really bring out the power and also help everyone else to inspire and also put in hard work to their creative work. Myself as well, I've seen a lot of user user generated content. That's what you see stand for. That has already been like in like you know in in the making for since Instagram started and influencing was a thing. However, now with with ad formats and TikTok being born and all of these new format being rolled out, uh, 50 second vertical ads, it's just the you know, um, more content more than ever and that's why UGC really popped off. I have started UGC, my own UGC journey since the end of last year because it was really inspiring to see other creators on TikTok. I, 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 I'm actively on TikTok. I use a lot. Of, I spend a lot of my time on TikTok and I learned a lot so it was really good to see a lot of people has really make a full-time income out of being you know a UGC content creator that is really good because also it inspires other creators to just come out and do what they do best also make an income since I've started what I've been doing and I would also recommend this for other newbies that are starting now one please make sure to do your research it's really good. The UGC community is super, super engaging and everyone is super helpful. I'm really glad to join a community as such. You know, a lot of other community was was having a bit more of a barrier to entry, whereas with UGC yourself, if you have a product, you become a content creator. If you can edit videos, that's basically it. I'm really happy to be enjoyed entering a community like that. When you research and how you can research the fastest way is not actually google anymore it's actually tiktok so go onto tiktok and go onto twitter type in the search bar UGC, um, ugc or what is ugc and all the content was that coming to you it's the there was tons of research out there and there's tons of way that you can get content to be served to you but i found tiktok is the fastest way you just need to know what is ugc where is it used who needs it and what type of deliverables are there? Meaning that is the brand using the videos for social proofing and their own social media platforms? That means th there's no copyright or any rights and violations and there's no right to be considered. Whereas if they are running it for ads, whether it's TikTok ad or Instagram ad, then there is usage drive involved and as a content creator, you should definitely chat to the brands and make sure everyone's clear on what's involved in that. Become a content creator as well. I think this is basic, but you need a few couple of equipment to practice recording videos and keep doing it until your videos look, I guess, glamorous. So you would need a tripod, a ring light or a source of light if it's not natural light. Other creator have, you know, backdrops, I can link some of the equipment and tools that I've used for myself. I find really helpful. Otherwise, I think you can just go to Walmart, Kmart, Target, anywhere, Home Depot, anything that can give you some sort of like backdrop background, a source of light, and basically your iPhone. I would really highly recommend any newbie creators to create a lot of UGC content videos. That is because I took, I took literally over a year to be comfortable talking in front of the camera now less some of you can just do it instantly but for myself i always think that i talk fine in front of the camera but not until these days that i'm pretty okay or i'm not shy and i'm not like stuttering a lot but just a few months ago when i look or look and watch back at my old video with the script without a script it sounds horrid i was like oh my god how can 
how can I be exposing myself like this? And it's kind of embarrassing for me. That is me, but I'm, I'm sure that a lot of people will do it really well. So practicing getting your lights in and getting your angle, that's really important. You can just grab any of the products at home. So I would just say, even like this pen. Okay, this pen's a bit, let me just grab a product. So just grab a product like this. This is the Naked Sunday sunscreen. I have my setup here. As you can tell, there are two big boards, the white one for the wall and the bottom one to mimic marble tile. I got these two bots on Amazon or eBay, I think, for $60. They come with the two clamps. You guys see as I'm doing here, I'm setting up my products and also props, just random items to make it like a vibe. I'll show you guys some final shots on my Instagram. The third step up of practicing and producing a lot of video is to go onto Canva and make your portfolio. Not Canva is the easiest way at the moment to publish your website and show brands what contents you have on there. I will make a separate videos on how I use Canva to publish my portfolio really quick. I did that all with the content has been produced in less than an hour and I hope you guys can do the same too. The thing that you should put in your portfolio according to my research that will really help capture brands attentions and also make sure that in a, such a saturated market and when everyone is trying to be a UC content creator, how you can stand out and how and why the brand should choose you. I have an intro videos in my in my portfolio. I also have a sessions of my background experience. Also the next part is the why am I standing out and why am I different to everyone else? And also last but not least is explaining what is UGC to brands. Some people know of the concept for a very long time, but when it comes to the three abbreviation UGC, they actually don't know what it is and they wouldn't know what you're offering. The fourth step is to networking. As a new UGC content creator and the basic of UGC, you don't really need to have a social following to be, you know, doing the job. However, that means that you're not having any exposure. So what I would really recommend you to do is to go onto TikTok, Instagram, and um, Twitter and Facebook to network with other UGC content creators, join the community, join any group chat, um, pages, or anyone that's giving out free tips to earn and then to make a network. Once you're networking and once you've been acknowledged by brands out there, you can start seeing messages, also people inviting you, and also brands will be reaching out to you to get either paid collab or gifted collab. Gifted collab is a great start to get to know the brand and also be able to build relationships with them. I would highly recommend to get a few gifted collab to establish yourself and your brand until you get paid collab. If you have paid collab, I would recommend a sub steps, which is preparing your contract. Now this is dependent on your state, your countries, your area. So please make sure to contact for, with a legal source so then you can have that all done. There are a few templates out there on the internet that you can pay for. I will say that 80% of the basic and also protect you as a UGC content creator. Some brands will also have contract for themselves. However, I would really recommend you to pay close attentions and get a lawyer for yourself to make sure that you have everything covered. Last but not least is that you get an inbound messages and you're now doing paid content for brands. Congratulations. If you're up to this step, I think it's really easy and you have come a really long way to get this done. This is a goal as a GUC content creator. You get the brands to pay you to do and create videos for them, ads or dailies, weekly. Um, a lot of people, instead of going on to one-on-one, -on -one, they actually go on to a retainers, which means that brands will pay them for a period of time, whether it's most frequently a month. The money is that coming in regularly, you start creating content every day. Some people I've seen um, substitute their main job, their full-time job for UGC, which is a great, great thing that we all want to manifest. Me, myself, I've only just started, so I'm still getting there to get more paid collab and establish myself in the community. There's a lot of reliable source of information on TikTok right now that can really help you establish yourself. Please give me a put name a few here, but also if you check out my TikTok page, I've listed them all there. They have inspired me to become who I am today, basically. 
if you find this video helpful please leave a like and a subscribe and i would be tremendously grateful if you prefer short form content or wanted to message me faster and quicker please join my tiktok kali ugc i would love to chat texts and network basically thank you so much for watching if you guys make it to the end I've just started this YouTube channel that related to my social media and content. So please come back for more and subscribe, Ken. Love you. Bye.